Greetings folks, in this video we're going to be having a look at the Femi Manta VTOL fixed wing. It is uh, part tricopter, tilt rotor tricopter and part wing, sent to me by Banggood for the review. This is the FC version so it comes with the flight control board already set up based on Pilot. I have been looking at Pilot over the last uh, month or so just so I can uh, familiarize myself with it um, but there it is nice little packet I'll show you all the bits and pieces in a little while I'm halfway through putting it together here it is here a neat little wing uh, groovy little tilt rotors on the front quite a solid little assembly there and uh, another little motor on the tail there so yeah I'm just deciding where to put my HD camera uh, DJI HD I'm going to be using Express LRS but let's have a quick look at what comes in the box and a little bit about how to put it together. So here's the neat little box that comes in and three very well fitted boxes inside hold all the components. These are all the bits and pieces, uh, central fuselage, a couple of wings. These are the main bits, they're uh, sort of an aluminium square tube with uh, the motors and the tilt mechanism. Servo with a decent linkage, there's a servo there for the elevons as well and the connection plug that gets glued into the side of the fuselage there using the tube of glue that's been supplied. A couple of wing spars, three props, a little quick start guide, prop mounting bolts there and tilt mechanism mounting screws, the little black screws in there. It took me a while to work out which screws we needed for that. And some various connection cables there. Uh, and these are the uh, nacelle covers or the tilt mechanism covers uh, just sort of thin molded plastic no oh, not a great idea these ones they kind of work okay but a lot of people have just left them off because they don't fit very well uh, they just have, sort of have two raw edges sitting side by side but we'll see a little bit more of that later on flight control board in the fc version is an f405 of some sort uh, on a stack bolted on to a bit of plywood there uh, now my bolts were, were very loose and one of the nuts was missing so you have to check that sort of thing and it's just sitting loose in there i guess it's so that you can plug things into it easily and then um, slide it into the the two little slots back here that that it fits into and then just a dab of glue to hold it in there is what i did now, while you're building the Manta, uh, it's a good idea to keep all the weight as back far as possible because you'll end up too nose heavy no matter what you do, I found. This is where the tilt mechanism slots in and a little screw goes into that hole there. And the servo arm and push rod are all ready to be attached. little quick disconnect clip there. Through body connector there from the wing. And this is where the little clip goes in. This is the tilt mechanism, so that's a, a sturdy aluminium square bar and a, a very sturdy servo and no slop at all in this linkage. It's, it's very nice indeed, quite strong, which it has to be, I guess, for a tilt rotor VTOL plane and the LO1 servo back there. These are the supplied cables, cable for S-Bus or Express LRS receiver. This is for the DJI or HD video system and these are the analog camera and video transmitter. This is where you plug the receiver in. Uh, you can see it's labeled here as UART2, but in Pilot it actually shows as Serial 6. That's one of the little quirks of Pilot I've found. Servo connections are all there. They're already connected. A spot for an airspeed sensor over there. This is the GPS here. Uh, there's no compass connected. And over here is the HD video system, DJI, which is what I'm using. And these are the analog video system plugs. So there it is all together. Uh, I've mounted my Cadex Vista up on the nose there. If possible, it would be good to mount it back further so that you don't have to add tail weight, as I did, to balance it out. These show the plastic nacelle covers, whatever they are, and they're just kind of held together by these red stickers that they supply. You can glue it nicely around this edge here and underneath but this edge along here there's it's just two edges meeting each other so um, it's just a bit cheap and ugly uh, it tracks from the whole design I think I have to come up with something better than that anyway I got it on and fits okay and uh, so I'll leave it there I may take it off later on who knows here's my camera underneath the nose this whole front section here comes off and you can put in another one air unit up on top 
Express LRS uh, aerial coming down to the back. It's kind of close to the GPS, but that's the only spot I could really situate it, and that should be okay. And yeah, I had to add this uh, big metal washer at the on the tail. I'll neaten that up, of course, uh, just to get the CG right, even with the, the a light 1.25 3S battery. There's the battery, 1250 milliamp hours, 3S. It's, I think it's kind of meant to have a, a 3S lithium iron battery, but I imagine you would have to jam that right up as back far as possible and maybe even add, add a little bit more tail weight just to balance it out properly. And you'll notice that the tail motor has quite a lot of lean to the left if you're looking from the back. Um, I hope that is meant to be like that. I could quite imagine that it is, but uh, we'll see when we go flying, I guess. A few other foam bits and pieces that are supplied as well. Here's a cover uh, to pop in here if you're not popping your video transmitter in there. That's a GPS cover. If, you had, if you're not going to use a GPS, you can sort of uh, fill up that hole there. There's uh, the, another little sort of under nose door that you can mount a, a, a camera in there if you want to. And you can also set this up to be a, a normal flying wing uh, with twins or a pusher motor. And these are alternate uh, foam blocks to put on the front of the, mo oh, over here actually, on front of the uh, motor pod areas. Now there's not a lot of information in the main manual or in the quick start guide anyway, but if you go to the Bang Banggood website, uh, I'll put a link in the description of course, you'll get these links here to special instructions. So here are the special instructions. It tells you things you need to enter in Pilot if you're going to change anything. The OSD, default OSD is the HD OSD, but you can switch to the analog OSD if you want to. Uh, it's a preset on channel 8. Gives you the serial information you have to enter in Pilot or in Q Ground Control is what I'm using, or Mission Planner if you're on a PC. These are the parameters for Crossfire and Express LRS, and these are the parameters for SBUS. It is uh, by default set up for Crossfire protocol, so if you're using SBUS, you will have to go in and change it. By default, uh, we have three modes on channel 6, cruise, fly-by-wire A and Q stabilize um, and uh, return to launch on another two position switch on uh, channel 7 that is. And channel 8 is switching between HD and analog uh, OSD screens. There's also a more complete setup manual here if you're uh, putting your own flight controller in or if you're assembling it from scratch. Uh, but mine was... Um, the FC plug and play version, PNP version, so uh, that was all done for me already. Something I did have to do was go into uh, the configuration program, Q Ground Control in my, my case, and uh, reverse the RC2. Uh, that's the pitch because my pitch was operating in the wrong direction. RC2 reversed is this line down here, and you change that to reversed, and that fixes that. You don't reverse the channels in your radio, you do all your reversing in the configuration program. And the other thing I did was uh, rearrange the OSD. I didn't really like the default OSD. It had too much information on I'd like a fairly clear screen with just sort of relevant things out on the edges. I used one of Shannon Baker's HD fonts for the WTF OS hack on the DJI goggles. And we'll see what it looks like when we go out and fly. Okay, here we are, ready to rock and roll. Uh, there's a little bit of wind around just to uh, make things difficult. Lots of long grass, so landing isn't going to be easy either. I've actually decided to go with a 4S uh, 18650 in there. If you push it all the way back and have a little bit of tail weight, it actually balances well. So um, I might try the smaller battery as well, but at the moment we're going with 4S. Okay, we're getting there. We've got about six satellites at the moment, so we should be just about ready to go. Uh, I'm just going to try a hover first. Basically have fly-by-wire A mode and Q stabilize mode and return to home. Alright, let's arm it. Throttle up. That's not good. Let's try that again. 
I've got to punch it to get it up and going. Keeps wanting to go forward. Get up there. And we're in. Fly by YRA mode, we should be. There we go. It's flying like a wing, sort of. Come past slowly to have a look at it. That's cool. Oh, it's working. It doesn't like the wind at all. Transition back. Key stabilise. Well, okay, we can work with that. Oh, that's a start. Uh, be better on a calm day. Uh, I think my battery's sagging a bit, maybe. Okay, let's go again. Transitioning. And we're away. Back off the throttle. Uses a lot of current when it's in uh, Q stabilized mode. Now we're cooking. That's cool. Now we're ready. The wind is uh, mucking things up for me. Uh, but I can get the current draw right down to a reasonable level. Now I can just cruise around for as long as we want. That's cool. Two point three amps, that's pretty good. Maybe I should be taking off in that little patch of grass down there. Could certainly land there a lot easier, I think. Might even be a bit more sheltered too. Anyway, we'll think about that. Trouble is there's a few too many people walking through there. No, this is going well. That hooked into the turn a bit harder than I thought. It's like it sort of falls into the turn somehow. Uh, but the wind is mucking things up. I don't know what that uh, mission... Is it? I don't know what that is. That thing, it's like uh, a mission message showing up. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I've got that turned off, but uh, can't really work that one out. Look at this, cruising around on about two amps or so. Wouldn't want to lose it in those trees over there, I'd never find it. Let's stay close for the moment. Wind's died down a little bit, that's nice. Fly a bit faster and it gets a bit smoother. Going well. 40 kilometres an hour. Wind speed 17, 17 kilometres an hour. There you go, that's, that's too much for it. Well, I better bring it into land so I don't lose it. Uh, how am I going to do this? Need to do it line of sight, I think. Can you stabilise, mate? This is cool, this is the VTOL part. Look at that, beautiful. So there we go, that's working pretty well. Uh, definitely a uh, calm day flyer, for sure. Uh, it, it struggles a bit in the wind. It's fine 
when it's flying in uh, fixed wing mode, fly by wire A mode, uh, the gear stabiliser has to battle the wind to stay in position. It's not sort of locked in in uh, GPS, I don't think, even though I had an, a, a GPS enough GPS satellites. So more to come. That'll do for this video. Thanks for watching. See you again.